Yuan Ning, you join me just after the Grand Prix. We have been recovering from what has been an incredible F1 week in Monaco. But on the last day, the video still hadn't gone live and you guys are probably wondering where that video is. Basically, when we went to the F1, we weren't allowed to bring big cameras or film the Formula One in particular. So Archie and I just took our phones and filmed them. What we're gonna do today, whilst we run our errands around Monaco is we are going to relive the F1 together. So I'm gonna try and narrate and explain what's going on uh, in the video that we took on Sunday for you now, whilst continuing on my day. So let's cut to the first few clips. I got my phone. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. It might be a tiny bit shaky. I'm here with Archie. Today I'm gonna to be doing some filming on my phone purely because we are going to be running around all over the place and don't want to have valuable cameras with us. And Ao doesn't have one of these passes to be able to watch the uh, Grand Prix with us. So he's not going to be able to run around with the camera gear either. Therefore, some of the filming will be on this, some will be on Archie's camera, and we're going to try and sort it all out. But it's race day, which is super, super exciting. Uh, that means we are heading up to the lounge again like yesterday to watch the actual F1 race. We had a really fun party, as you guys saw last night on the boat. And then this afternoon, there's a big party called Sunset, which is always good fun. So we're heading over to find some tag people to have a good party. Should be a good day. Sorry for shaking this. Trying to hold this as steady as I can. We are rolling up to the tag uh, lounge now. But I also just want to say I'm not going to be able to show you any of the actual racing today because it's illegal to show any of the Formula One without having permission from the FIA. So I'm not going to be able to show you the cars anyways. But I figured it's better to film on my phone, even if it's just a little vlog type video video than filming nothing at all and I thought I'd bring you along on the actual adventure of what it's like to be at uh, the Monaco F1 and look currently we are surrounded by a bunch of people it is absolute madness but we're gonna try and squeeze through and somehow find our spots right well we've just made it to the track and straight on to the pit which is where we're gonna be for the first little bit we just thought we'd come check out the vibes down here it's looking pretty good it's similar to yesterday although a bit busier it's busier than yesterday isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah you're filming busier. on your phone as well today i'm filming on my phone just some iphone vlogging going on uh, so it's not going to be much artsy no music pure back to the roots of vlog style but yeah anyway it's pretty special here's uh lewis's pit which is pretty special look at this this is from a vibe Red Bull pit, Red Bull car. This is fairly mad. Are you pretty doing? mad. Done a whole pit lane walk, and it's pretty fascinating seeing how many people there are here and sort of the general atmosphere. I mean, it is packed, but all the way at the end, so it's a bit less busy now, so I can actually talk to you guys. But just soaking up the atmosphere is absolute madness. We're going to head to the lodge lounge lodge thing in a tiny bit. I'm gonna get sunburned guys by the way because it is absolutely bloody boiling. Actually what's happening are the drivers coming past? They are in a minute. I think so they come past on a bus. It should be kind of funky yeah. to see. made it to the lounge this is the back entrance of it with the port oh it is absolutely boiling guys i know i keep saying it but it really is the race is starting yes we can't film it unfortunately but it's starting After the pits, we ended up going back to the Tag Heuer Lounge where there were a bunch of cool people. That Matt Damon was there, Chris Hemsworth was there. We watched actually the whole F1 with Alec Monopoly, um, but we weren't allowed to film the cars. I explain it all, but anyways, we moved from the pits to the Tag Heuer Lounge. It's so annoying that we can't film the race, but for copyright reasons, we can't film it, but we've just watched it, seen all the highlight bits, and we've decided, uh, because our phones are running out of battery and stuff, that we're gonna walk back to the boat because we can still keep watching the race from there, but also charge up, have a bite to eat, and uh, have a few uh, glasses of water because we're rather dehydrated. So we're doing that right now. Um, it's about halfway through the race. 
we are walking back and then afterwards we're heading over to Sunset which should be pretty cool and hopefully Ao will be able to meet us there and it's been it's been pretty incredible hasn't yeah, it? Yeah really really cool experience. I mean the race itself uh, there wasn't really any overtaking or anything more, that exciting for now. More the, the new regulations. The new regulations, and, and in Monaco, it's so hard to overtake, so they were really struggling for that. But we are, yeah, as I say, heading back to the boat, and we're going to take it from there. But I mean, really, just massive thank you to Tag for being able to uh, sort us out with everything that they sorted sorted us out with for the last few days. It has been absolutely unreal. Um, we're even just walking back now we've come across some absolutely gorgeous boats so we're literally just getting back to ours right now it is there and it's time to get back on to keep watching the race Let's yeah do man. It. we're on after the F1 uh, which was an absolutely unbelievable experience obviously as you just saw we went back to the boat and then this is where stuff started getting really interesting we ended up going to sunset which is a massive beach party on a boat supplied by Tag Heuer and it was just it was an unreal experience so here you're now going to see a few clips of us getting to sunset our phones are charged we're good to go to sunset and sunset is by point literally over there somewhere now to walk it you need to go like all the way around all of this stuff and it takes ages therefore the solution to the problem is as follows let me show you a boat so we're taking a boat. Here we go. Tag Hoya. We out of here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is a cool way to arrive to a party. Check it out. First way I think I've ever arrived to any party. Not that I go out that much. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is pretty legit. Can you hear it? Yeah. I can hear bass already. I can hear it. I can hear bass. It's behind us. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Party there. We made it. Sunset. We're here. You ready? Oh God! Stop doing that. Oh, my screen's cracked. My bad. So then we got to sunset, to the party, met up with some friends, Sam, Paul were there, obviously Archie was with me, and then a few other friends, Emily was there as well, and uh, we just had a good time, we had a really fun party, and then the end of the night actually ended up in another nightclub called Sass as well. And that's that then, that was our day at the Monaco Grand Prix, it was unbelievable, I mean we were on a boat, two boats, in a lounge, at Sunset, at Sass, with some fantastic friends, and all of it is only possible thanks to Tag Heuer, it was an absolutely incredible time, uh, we, I, genuinely the best way I think anyone could ever experience the Formula 1, so I just want to say a huge thanks to Tag for providing us with the most incredible access to everything we wanted to see. I also want to touch upon, I saw the backlash on the last video about the competition and about the competition winners and you guys thinking that it was all uh, faked and all this sort of stuff. It was not faked, we had a um, computer system that picked out people who were subscribed to both channels and we bought some clothing, ran through, picked at random this couple um, which were up in the north of France and they got taken down here they watched the qualifying and you know if someone tells me I don't want to be in a video I don't you know I don't want people to see me and there's not much you know I can sort of do about that so uh, last minute they were going to cancel coming on the Saturday they did in the end come on the Saturday stayed over here and then went on the Sunday as well we met up with them after um, uh, during sunset and sass and all of that sort of stuff as well so we managed to spend some time together but I just wanted to explain and clear that up a bit because I know there was a bit of backlash about that but uh, it did happen um, I'm, I can't really show it to you guys because I've, I've, I've said they were anonymous which I know sounds a bit sort of sketchy but 
put yourself in my shoes and this is the way it is. Anyways, um, apart from that, I just want to say massive thank you to everyone for watching this as per usual. We've got some exciting stuff coming up in the next few days. And also, I'm going to be going on a rally I can now announce called the Streetgasm 2000 Rally, which I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks with you, AO, and we are going to have a really good time. So, all of the announcements done. Thanks for watching as per usual. I'll see you again very soon. Please give this video a thumbs up. Cheers. Uh, bye bye. Ayo. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. No Juliet.